Hi there. I'm here in northeast Queensland, along the tropical uh, coast just north of Cairns, and I'm here to have a look at the um, uh, wonderful mangroves that exist here uh, along the banks of the, the rivers uh, and the tidal creeks. Now, I'm here at Tomatus Creek, uh, which is, as I said, is just a few miles north of Cairns um, in the Barren River, Go uh, Barren River Delta. And here there's some wonderful examples of mangroves. Now, mangroves are really the tropical equivalent of our temperate salt marshes. Um, and whereas salt marshes occur in the high latitudes, mangroves occur uh, very close to the equator in the, in the low latitudes. And they extend from about uh, 32 degrees north uh, around Bermuda, I think that's the, the, the most northerly occurrence of mangroves, and down to 38 degrees south here in Australia. Now, whereas salt marshes have a lot of their biomass actually in the ground um, and, and as grasses and, and, and so on. Uh, here the mangroves have a, the, the majority of their uh, biomass above ground and you can see here that the wonderful trees, um, the mangrove trees with their wonderful roots uh, line these tidal creeks. Now the, 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 the species that live here um, are zoned, very similar to uh, what we'd find in a salt marsh but right here on the seaward edge here in tropical Queensland, we have these uh, Rhizophora mangroves. And they're characterized by the prop roots that they have that anchor them to the sediment. Uh, and also, because the roots are partially above ground, they also uh, have a, an oxygen intake uh, function. Because a lot of the sediment in which they're rooted in uh, is in fact uh, anaerobic and so doesn't have any oxygen and so they have to uh, obtain oxygen um, uh, above the sediment surface and these uh, prop roots uh, have that function but they also help to keep the, the mangrove trees in place and, uh, and occasionally we do have cyclones that come through here and so they anchor them uh, and prevent them being washed away. Um, so we have this zonation, here we have Rhizophora, in other parts of Australia we'll have see other species uh, and as you go further away from the Tidal Creek inland, these Rhizophora species uh, trees will be replaced by um, other, other genera. Now, there are a number of different types of mangrove settings. Um, there are river-dominated uh, settings or river settings where the sediment supplied to the mangroves is uh, provided from the river. Uh, there are tidal uh, settings, such as this one, where most of the sediment that comes into this system is actually provided um, by the tidal waters coming in and out uh, on, a on a daily base basis. Although this particular um, location, the tide isn't that uh, great. It's a, it's a microtidal setting of a few metres, uh, up to a few metres. Um, and the, and the, uh, the last uh, setting we find mangroves is on deltas. Uh, so, sort of deltaic settings. Um, now, although this is perhaps you could class this as a tidal one, it is actually sitting within a, within a delta, so it's possibly a, possibly a hybrid. Now, mangroves have um, are, are a great coastal defence uh, uh, sort of structures, if you like, natural structures, um, because when cyclones do come into these tropical coastlines, cyclones here in Australia hurricanes elsewhere, um, typhoons and so on, all the same thing. Um, they act as a buffer to that cyclone energy um, and really do protect the communities inland from the worst of the cyclone waves um, and cyclone winds and storm surges and so on. So they have this coastal defense function and they're natural and so they don't cost very much to maintain um, and, and indeed coastal managers really do want to try and maintain these for these coastal uh, uh, coastal um, uh, management coastal protection function but also they have a, um, a function as a nursery for coastal populations of fish and indeed I've seen just a few jumping in the water around me here um, and also uh, for other larger animals birds nesting sites and so on and also crabs and a, a whole host of different uh, animal and plant species actually use this as a refuge and a nursery. So they're really important for the local coastal ecology. And also worryingly, amongst the mangroves and indeed in the, in the estuarine waters here, um, we have saltwater crocodiles. And I'm just sort of, if I look a bit, little bit uh, uh, concerned, I'm just keeping an eye out just in case there's any uh, movement in the water around me that may be due to a crocodile. Um, so these tropical mangrove settings, uh, 
they're simply um, the tropical counterparts of salt marshes that we find in the temperate latitudes, but they are, uh, well, wonderful uh, habitats and nurseries for animals and plants, and they have this very important coastal defense uh, function as well. Uh, and really we need to look after these environments uh, for the well-being of coastal communities and for the biodiversity um, of coastal environments.